This is a video for the other uh, type of partial fraction decomposition. This one has in the denominator both a linear term and a quadratic term. This quadratic term, however, cannot be reduced, so it's going to stay a quadratic term, whereas in the last video I was able to factor the quadratic into two linear terms. So this is a different set setup. So for this setup, uh, since it's already factored and I can't factor it any further, I'll just go ahead and separate. So I'm going to need to have, this is going to be two different fractions. So there'll be a plus sign over here and then we'll have a fraction and a fraction. And then the denominator of the first will be x and the denominator of the second will be x squared plus 1. Now in the numerator for the linear, we just use a constant, so I'll just use the letter a. However, for a quadratic denominator, we need to have a linear term. So remember a linear term looks something like this. So we'll have that one for the denominator, uh, for the numerator. Okay, now we'll go ahead and uh, solve. So what we're going to do is multiply both sides of the equation by the uh, lowest common denominator. And the lowest common denominator is always the bottom uh, of the left-hand side. So I'll multiply the left side by x times x squared plus 1. And I'll multiply the right side times the same thing, which is x times x squared plus 1. Don't forget that when you're multiplying with a plus sign, you need to distribute. So I'll multiply it there, and I'll multiply it there. Okay, back to the left side. Right here, we're going to have cancellation. This cancels that down there, leaving me with just the numerator, which is x squared minus 1. The equal sign, don't forget your equal sign. And we'll go ahead and distribute these to both terms and cancel whatever cancel. So here in this case, the x is term, uh, cancel, uh, which gives me a, a times x squared plus 1. And uh, plus, uh, right here, the x squared plus 1 cancels, leaving with just the x. So we'll have b x plus c times x. Okay, I'll go ahead and simplify the right-hand side by distributing and get rid of, getting rid of the parentheses, and then I can see uh, my next step, okay, which is to equate the terms. So on the left side, I still have x squared minus 1, and on the right side, I have a times x squared plus a plus, over here I just have to distribute the x, so I have bx squared plus cx. Okay, now I look back at the whole equation, I know the left side and the right side have to be equal to each other. I notice that on the left side I don't have an x term. I have an x squared term, but I don't have an x term. But on the right side I have an x term, so I have uh, to, I know here that c is 0, because I don't have an x, ter x term on the left side, so c must be 0. Okay, so I know c is 0. Okay, now uh, I can just uh, ignore it. Okay, now looking back at it again, I see I have two x squared terms and then an a. So this a is a constant, and on the left side the only constant I have is negative 1, so this a must be negative 1. Okay, so I know what a is, it's the only constant. So a is negative 1. Now I go ahead and plug that back in and I can solve for b. So I'll go ahead and uh, say that I have here x squared minus 1 is equal to um, negative 1 x squared plus, uh, minus 1 plus b x squared. Okay, so what I'll go ahead and do now is I'll go ahead and add 1 to both sides. So if I add 1 to both sides, the constant will go away so I can simplify it further. And I'll go ahead and add x to both sides because if I do that, then I'll add x squared, sorry, to both sides. x squared to both sides, that way this term will go away. So that term's gone. And now on the left side, I have 2x squared and the equal sign. And on the right side, I have b x squared. And so now we can see what b is. b is 2. Okay, so over here now I'll write b is equal to 2. Okay, so we'll look back what we happened here. We just equated our terms and we found out one by one what each one is. Now I'll write the final answer by uh, using a is equal to negative 1 and I'll go back up here to the original uh, right side and I know a is negative 1. So, and then I'll, I'll plug that in there, and then b is 2, I'll plug that in there, and c is 0. And I'll keep everything else the same. So I'll have negative 1 over x plus uh, 2x plus 0, but I'm not going to write the 0, plus 0, all over x squared plus 1. Okay? 
That is my final answer. All right, so then of course, if there was multiplicity, again, you would have to uh, go uh, through each one of the powers of whatever the multiplicity is, but this one didn't have any multiplicity, so we're done with this problem.